Hey guys, Swan coming at you with some Payday 2 gameplay, and this is the Firestarter mission for Hector. And this is what we have to do. Um, we break into all the trucks and the weapon cases inside the warehouse here, and we fight off the police as well the Mendoza cartel, and once we finish them, the police move in. Now this is on overkill, and we will be going up against the heavy duty forces of the police. Um, as you guys know, that would be the tasers, the cloakers, the bulldozers, all those fun things to go up against. Um, now I just checked the upstairs here and found the weapons, so I'm going to bag those up and toss them down. Uh, it looks like that we're doing okay so far. I wouldn't give us uh, credit yet, but we're not doing terrible. Now as you can see here, my primary is the Nagant Rifle. And on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you see that it only has 30 bullets total. So I'll come in here and I will fix the drill. And you can hear the cloaker going off in the background. It has a really weird uh, like staticky noise and usually comes in with a cloud of smoke as well. Um, let's see if I can get away with taking these weapons as well without getting hit. Oh no, damn it. Accidentally clicked on the... Uh, the mouse there, so I just wasted one of my so few bullets already. Um, I just haven't had a chance to use this weapon yet, so I wanted to check it out and see how good it is. Looks like I just took out that taser with one shot, and I'm kind of weary about using this weapon because, as I said, I have very, very little ammo to begin with. Um, now, I really want to line up these good shots here. Oh, and I had to reload. Look at that. Wow. Okay, then. Now I'm going to grab this one. And I also have the bayonet on this. I haven't really read what it does. I just thought it would be pretty neat to have. And we have one of our teammates getting hit by a taser here. Now a cloaker is about to come, so let's get back a little bit. You really don't want to be up close and personal with the cloakers because they are not the force to be reckoned with. They will whoop your ass. I basically consider them Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell, um, for all those who know. And he does a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick, so it's basically Chuck Norris and Sam Fisher combined. And it's kind of kind of interesting that they're very, very weak when they're not um, close range. You can pretty much take them out with almost whatever weapon you're using if you just shoot them in the head, obviously. It goes a little bit quicker, but when they're up close and personal, they will take you down. Uh, looks like this gun is a one-shot, one-kill no matter where you're shooting them. Um, I was just shooting at various spots in those... Uh, grouping of SWAT members there to try to see how it would go. So it's pretty much a one shot, one kill. Um, I, I kind of like the Nagant Rifle in almost any game that has it. Uh, games like World at War, Red Orchestra, any of those World War II games that have the um, Moisin Nagant. I you guys can uh, start moving them even oh. more in the back. Someone's talking in game chat right here as I'm recording, so I apologize for that brief cutout, but I, I enjoy using this rifle in general no matter uh, what game I'm playing, and I saw that this was in one of the weapon packs, and I figured I might as well get it, uh, give it a try, and give it a little review. So, so far the review is I've seen that you can basically take everyone out with one shot, um, which is a pro of it. The con of it is that it has only 30 bullets to begin with. Now I have the Thompson as my secondary, which is also another gun that kind of just depletes its ammunition very quickly. But it's also a very powerful gun to try to steamroll through um, the police force. Now, the hit detection is still kind of bad in this game. I played it for a very long time on Xbox. And, oh, there's a bulldozer right there. Let's see if I can get those three shots into the bulldozer and see how well it does. Well, I missed the first one. And there goes the other two, and it took him out. So the Nagant rifle is actually very, very powerful towards the bulldozers, as you just saw there. And I'm going to beat this guy to death with the barbed wire baseball bat. 
So I'm just going to run this bag all the way over, give myself some time to reload. And thankfully I got some ammunition back for the Nagant, Nagant rifle with uh, picking up the weapon box there that comes off the corpses of the cops. Um, as you saw, it only took me two shots to take out that bulldozer, and I don't believe the other guy, which should have been this guy right here, shooting at the bulldozer, would have um, used a powerful rep uh, weapon there. I'll check towards the end of the thing, but I'm pretty sure that guy has like um, two pistols, maybe. I can't remember what he was carrying in the beginning of the mission, but I think it's still pretty neat that we were able to take out the bulldozer with only two rounds of the Nagan rifle, which is very useful, especially when they take up so much uh, bullets and they absorb so much damage. Um, so I think I'm just going to start running these bags here, being that I only have so little ammunition in my Thompson, as well as the Nagant rifle, as you can see on the bottom right. Um, it is very time consuming to just walk with these weapon bags, but the payout is still pretty good. And you can get a large amount of these bags from this mission. And it's good to just do what they're doing right there, is that they're bringing the bags to each location and just start running them back and forth. This guy's tossing the bags up to me, so I don't even have to have any communication with him to tell him what's going on. Basically, I can just realize that someone's gonna stay over by the van and throw him in. Yeah, it's hot coming on the money. Someone's gonna the be weapons. taking the bags from the warehouse and bringing them closer to the other guy. So we already reached our amount and it looks like we're going for the gold here and taking the rest of the bags, which obviously you would. Uh, it's the extra payout. Um, you get more money, you get a, more experience, I believe. And it's... Oh, we got a man down over here. Now, on my mastermind perk, I can pick up someone by shouting at them, uh, shouting at them, which looks like uh, someone else did that as well, it could have been Base Jesus. Uh, the Mastermind is a pretty useful um, skill tree to use, and I have everything unlocked in it, um, aced out, so it's definitely, uh, definitely the perk that I've used in both Xbox and on PC and found it the most useful. Um, it's good for... I, I believe on Xbox I was able to get like 10 zip ties or something like that. I'm not sure why I only have 6. Um, I couldn't upgrade it anymore, but... This is the end of the first day of the mission, guys. I'll have the second day and third day right after this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for checking it out.